Now, your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast, sponsored by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Well, we start off with a lot of clouds this morning, and there's still a lot of clouds out there. We've seen some breaks, though, some sun peeking through. But this is what it looks like, this visible satellite, and you see the clouds moving in off the southeast, off of that uh, Gulf flow there, and they're pretty thick out there, but again, there are some peaks of sun coming through there, so we we'll call it mostly cloudy skies this afternoon. Just enough sun to get those temperatures up into the 90s once again, but not as warm as we saw yesterday. Records I don't think are going to be in jeopardy today. We saw a couple of them yesterday at Harlingen and McAllen. Highs today expected right around 90, 91 degrees or so for the lower valley. And then we're looking at those low to mid 90s as you head out into the upper valley. Valley average high is still 87 degrees, so we're running way above even with temperatures lower than yesterday and looking uh, pretty comfortable out towards the coastal areas with highs in the 80s. Now the winds are out of the southeast at about 10 to 20 miles an hour, and they have been gusting up around 25, but they're really going to start to increase overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow, and that should help keep any chances for fog tomorrow morning at bay. Pollen out there, we're still looking at high counts on tree pollen. Uh, dust low, still looking at medium on grass and weeds, and so that allergy alert today is still going to be in the high category. So here's future cast. We're going to start this off at 1 o'clock this afternoon. You see the clouds around once again, but notice the lack of green on the map, and that's the problem, another problem we have. A lot of problems in the weather category right now. Too hot, and we don't have enough rain out there. In fact, nothing showing up on the map as I put this into motion here. We're going to see the mostly cloudy skies this afternoon. Overnight tonight, you'll see the clouds fill in even more so uh, overnight towards daybreak tomorrow, and then the winds are really going to start to pick up overnight tonight. And during the day tomorrow, we're going to be kind of on the borderline, I think, tomorrow afternoon, at least across the lower and mid part of the valley to wind advisory criteria. And the clouds will kind of hang that tight pretty good tomorrow as well. Here's future cast. Now, these are the wind gusts. Now, we're going to start this off at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. And notice we're already seeing southeast wind gusts of around 20 to 25 miles per hour. You have winds this strong, you're not going to have any fog out there. So, again, with all the humidity in place, the strong winds will help to take care of that. But as I put this in the motion, though, Notice how, oh boy, we get into the early to middle part of the afternoon. All the pinks and the purple show up on the map now. That's your strong winds, and that's where I still think from east of Highway 281 tomorrow, especially we're going to see some wind gusts of around 30 to 40 miles per hour. And again, if we can see, if you see those winds that strong, we could see a wind advisory for tomorrow afternoon. Then they'll start to die down somewhat by tomorrow evening. That puts us in a moderate fire weather risk for tomorrow. Dry air, dry grass, no strong winds, any outdoor burning uh, it could be a problem, so you should use extra caution. Forecast highs over the next four days, looking at 90 degrees or so for today. Then those 90s to near 100 for Wednesday and Friday. And then things start to look a little bit better by the end of the weekend. So looking at rain-free conditions with a minor front tomorrow into Thursday. That drops us down to 92 for a high Thursday. But notice by Sunday, that front's a little stronger. Puts us near normal with highs in the mid-80s for Sunday and Monday. And lows back down in the mid-upper 60s. Both of those are normal.